so they told me you're not making the Uber because it's too much food? I ain't making no 13 sandwiches with the way tonight's been going. I'm, there's only three cars here. At the moment, yeah, now, it's bitch. One in the <laughs> yeah, we've been getting stoned all night. That doesn't matter. It's your job. I, I can refuse any order. So you're going to refuse your best sale of the night? Me showing up to this place doesn't make sense to begin with. <laughs> well, like, us store dashers, it's not our fault that you don't want to make the order. Like, we have to make money, too. Like, and those people should have had a little more consideration before putting that order in. But it's McDonald's. They they have yeah, the right not, to put it's in. It's not a feed a family. It's supposed to be fast food, not a feed a family because you're too lazy to cook. Good well, God. for all you know, they're sitting there having a big party. It's Memorial and that, Day and that's weekend. That's for not supplying food. <laughs> for not supplying. They ordered McDonald's. Yeah, if you're going to have a party, you don't order McDonald's. You cook. But that's how McDonald's, like, stays open. That's how you are able to yeah, get paid. Yeah, and us, and the supervisor already wants to shut down the overnights, and I already told him to go ahead. Oh, I'm man. tired of this. I'm tired of this. Well, I can, <laughs> I can wait for you to make that order. Like, that's not the issue. If you want to hold up this line for 20 minutes, I don't care. But I got to make money, too. So it's either I make the food or you just sit there, huh? No, I'm not just going to sit here. Fine, I'll make a bull. I'm not going to guarantee it's going to be right. <laughs> right. Just pull up there. That was like, okay. I'll slap something together, bro. You can take that. You can take whatever I give you. And she was like, all right. That was two, that was two bottle barrel workers coming to an agreement where we saw an argument. They were really talking about, all right, well, how do we fix How do we do this? Uh, how do we make this work so nobody gets in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> he said, after all that, that boy said, okay, you know what? I'll make it. I can't guarantee it's going to be right. She said, all right, cool. That's, I can pull up right there. <laughs> Problem solving. I love it, dog. It was 1 o'clock in the morning. He was tired. She was tired. She said, I can't believe you're not going to. This is the best sale of my night. Come on, bro. Help me out. He's like, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I've been here all day and it sucks. And she's like, well, what if they're having a party? He's just like. They should have cooked. <laughs> it's McDonald's, not to feed a family shack. <laughs> Man. Fantastic. Fantastic video, right? Fantastic I knew like both it. parts. Yeah. I knew you'd like it. Yeah. I, there, there was there was drama. There was yep. there was conflict there. There was a, a rising uh rising drama there. There was a conclusion. Yep. And it all just Perfectly tied it, into it. It was great. They were laughs. They had they had a They're... moment where like where I was legitimately scared this guy was gonna lose his job. You know, like what are you gonna do? You're you working at McDonald's. Like, oh man, like it's hard out there, bro. Trust us. It's hard. <laughs> it's real hard out there, yo. <laughs> yeah, he, he just gave he couldn't give two more shits about it. He his could job not, anymore. he did not give he, my boy couldn't give you a pickle for that, dog. He couldn't give you a pickle for your thoughts on that one, dog. He was like, nah, nah, get pickle out of my line. <laughs> get out of my line. It was he like, said, bro. I'm not making no motherfucking sandwiches. I ain't tonight. making 13 motherfucking sandwiches, <laughs> dog. I'm not doing that. Not at the, It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Not with the day, Not the way it's been today. She said, there's only three cars here. Bro was just like, yeah, right now. And if they got 13, 13 sandwiches, they ain't getting them either. <laughs> they not getting any sandwiches either, bitch. All y'all can get the fuck out. I quit. I'm done. <laughs> now, look. Tell it, me, bro. man. Tell me, tell it. me. Because I've, I've never had um, food experience. I've yeah, never had food. food. Yeah, fat food's making experience. Yeah. So how much, did, how much did you feel this interaction here with these two people? Um... Okay, so I I worked in fast food when I worked at Subway, but that was a different kind. I, I didn't really talk to people. And then I remember one time I got fed up with a job that I was at, and I quit on the spot. And then halfway driving home, I got freaked out. And I passed the Wendy's that had a help wanted sign in the window. And I drove into that fucking Wendy's, and I went in there. I was like, yo, can I speak to the manager? And she let me, she talked to me, and I was just like, look, man, I just... I quit my last job, couldn't do it anymore. I need something. I'm going to be the best worker you ever had. I know I'm overqualified, but I need to work because I, unlike these kids, I have like an apartment with rent and stuff. So, you know, I'll show up every day. <laughs> and she gave me a job. <laughs> so she gave me a job and I worked there for three months, bro. I went, I was in the back <laughs> flipping burgers with my head down. <laughs> That's what I did. Yeah. Um, so, yes, I feel that. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, I I slightly remember that you worked at a Wendy's, but it was such a blip that it, yeah, it was must have been three months that I don't remember. You never, I never heard anything else about it. I worked in a batch of flipping burgers, so no no interactions like that. But I do know mm-hmm. how busy it could get. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I flip burgers and I would close up, and at the end of the night. My manager would let me take home as many of the burgers as I wanted. So I would take the burgers home and then my friends would come over and we eat Wendy's <laughs> <laughs> chicken nuggets and fries and frosties and stuff. And I used to get home at like, yeah, like one thirty, two o'clock in the morning. I get home, we eat some chicken nuggets, smoke some weed. It was actually a pretty chill experience. <laughs> yeah. So, so did, a uh, um, did 20, did the 24 hours should exist back then at that time? I don't because that's a that's not a that's hasn't been a always thing. It's no, a, it wasn't an always thing. No, and I don't think yeah. it existed at that time. No, we the drive through yeah. stayed open late, but late right. in Daytona where I was living at the time, that right. was like it stayed open until like twelve thirty one o'clock, and then you'd get out around one thirty two o'clock. You'd be done right. just closing everything down, and then yeah. Right. And so I was I was I was yeah. They she I would work late, and I'd work on weekends because the you know sixteen year olds couldn't do that. Yeah. I could, so I got to live pretty much just work by myself, chill, yeah. you know, and uh, with one person who ran the window, and it was chill, bro. So Wendy's, shout out to Wendy's, bro. Wendy, that was a chill job. Wendy's, was, yeah. They let, let me the up. Lego appear right now. Yeah, we we angling, dog. We angling for sponsorships. I'm keeping it clean, you corporate dirt bags. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> keeping it clean. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So that's the up. ticket. Yep. Thanks, well, Wendy's. Look, 